Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of the Man Cave Insider. Thank you for joining us. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you can see new videos as we put them up. The concept of this channel started with a conversation with me and my 10 year old daughter. As you can see, we're in my man cave and there's a lot of things here. And these are things that I've collected over my entire life that are important to me for one reason or another. And there are stories behind them. So my daughter comes into this room, she picks something out she hands it to me, and that is the subject of this episode. And I'm very excited that she gave me a DVD of one of my favorite bands, Duran Duran. I've liked this band since 1982. Since the first time I heard Hungry Like the Wolf, I still like this band to this day. I know it seems a little weird, a guy in his late 40s talking about Duran Duran, but like I said, these are things that are important to me. And the DVD she gave me is Sing Blue Silver. And this is a documentary of their 1984 North American tour. At the time, Duran Duran was the most popular band in the world, and they were touring behind their third album, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. This had three top 10 songs, Union of the Snake, New Moon on Monday, and The Reflex, which became their first ever number one song. The video for The Reflex was actually shot on the first night of the North American tour in Toronto. Um, on this tour, they played 50 shows, over 500,000 people. It went from January to April of 1984. Originally it aired as a one hour special on MTV. Then they released a 90 minute version of it on VHS. I got a used copy of this in the early 90s for about $5. You can see the special rental price of $1.99. Then in 2004 they put out this DVD. And I don't know if you can tell by the cover, but it's got a velvet lining on the outside of it which I think is really neat. And on the inside of it, they've got a few nice extras. They put in this book of pictures of the band during this tour. And then they also included some like souvenir photos of different members of the band. So it's a really nice set. I was actually given to this. A friend of mine gave me this. Um, because he knew I was a big fan of the band. And what's so great about this is at the time I was 13 years old, so I'd never been to a concert. And to see one of my favorite bands, to see what it's like to be on a tour, uh, was really fascinating for me. And you, it's not just them going to a city, playing a concert, and moving on. You know, you're seeing what, um, what the fans are like. You're seeing what it's like to go through what is the demands of being the most popular band in the world. They're doing interviews, they're doing press, they're doing appearances, they're doing, you know, videos. Uh, it was a very crazy time for the band. And uh, you could tell that they were really proud of this tour, you know, with this DVD. Um, so much so, they actually put out a live album at the end of the year called Arena. And this features nine songs recorded around the world on this tour and had one new studio song called The Wild Boys. And if you've ever seen the video for the Wild Boys, it's a very extravagant video. I think it cost almost a million dollars, which at the time was unheard of for a music video. And to get more bang for their buck, they actually made a long form movie called Arena. And this features concert footage shot on the very last show of this tour. It was directed by Russell Mulcahy, who directed a lot of their classic videos. Then he went on to direct the Highlander movies. And among other things. And the name of the group Duran Duran uh, is based on a character named Duran Duran in the movie Barbarella played by Mile O'Shea. And they actually got him to play the evil version of Duran Duran in this movie. And, um, you know, this was released on DVD at the same time in 2004 as well. Um, this also was the last tour of the original five members um, they played again in the United States a year later for Live Aid when they had the number one song in the country with A View to a Kill. And then after that, um, two of the band members left, Andy Taylor and Roger Taylor. So the next album they released was Notorious, which just featured three of the original members, Simon LeBond, Nick Rhodes, and John Taylor. Um, I eventually got to see the band in 1989 at the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey. I still have the tour book from that tour, and uh, it was a great concert. I was really excited to see the band, and uh, I remember it well to this day. 
Now, the original five got back together in the early 2000s, and they put together an album called Astronaut. And this was the first album featuring all five members since 1983, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. I got to see them on this tour at Madison Square Garden, and it was the first time the original five had played Madison Square Garden in 21 years. And it was exciting for me as a fan of the band. It was also exciting for me because it was the first date I had with my wife. And that was 15 years ago last month. We've been married for 13 years. We've got a 10-year-old daughter. So this band, um, you know, is a very big part of, of that whole equation. So thank you very much, Duran Duran. Um, hope you enjoy this. If you're looking to get um, the DVD of Sing Blue Silver, uh, it's out of print, but you can find it on Amazon. You can find people selling it on eBay. Uh, it's a great documentary of a great band at their height. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.